Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at how to achieve a variable waveform on the Mother32. The default behavior for the Mother32's oscillators allow us to select between a square wave and a sawtooth wave. But what if we wanted to achieve a combination of the two waves or blend between them? This can be achieved by using the external audio input and the mix knob. To do this, I'm going to patch the VCO saw output into the external audio input, and I'm going to make sure that our VCO wave selection is set to a square wave. Now, the mix knob will allow us to smoothly blend between a square and a saw wave. So let's listen to how that sounds. As you can hear, we can now smoothly blend between our two waves as well as achieve a combination of the two. Next, let's look at ways to incorporate modulation. For this example, I'm going to take the LFO triangle wave output and I'm going to patch it to the mix CV input. Since our LFO is a bipolar LFO, we want to set the mix knob to noon so that the LFO can modulate through the full range of the knob. Let's listen to how that sounds. As you can hear, our LFO is slowly fading between the two waveforms as the sequencer plays. Next, let's look at how we can incorporate the VC mix knob. Because I've patched the saw tooth wave into the external audio input, I've removed our ability to use the noise source. But I can change that using the VC mix knob. To do this, I'm going to remove the saw wave from the external audio input and now patch it into the mix one of the VC mix. Next, I'm going to take the noise output and I'm going to patch it into mix 2 on the VC mix. And finally, I'm going to patch the VC mix into our external audio input. Now, if you listen, our LFO will slowly blend between a square wave and the output of the VC mix. And I'm going to control this knob to blend between the sawtooth wave and the noise source. Let's listen to how that sounds. As you can hear, I'm now able to access all three sound sources on the Mother32. To end, let's look at ways to incorporate another modulation source into the VC mix to get both knobs moving at the same time. To do this, I'm going to enter the settings menu by holding Shift, Reset Accent, Set End, and Step 8. You'll know that you've entered the settings menu because the tempo LED will start blinking yellow. We want to be looking at the first page of settings, which is indicated by the one LED being lit yellow. Next, I'm going to press step 8, which is indicated by the 8 LED being lit green. And that's telling me that I've selected a stepped random modulation to come out of the assignable output. Next, let's patch the assignable output into the VC mix control input. And once again, we're going to set the VC mix to noon to take advantage of the bipolar modulation. Let's listen to how this sounds. As you can hear, things have gotten a lot more complex. And what we have happening is the assignable output is randomly selecting between a sawtooth wave and a noise source, while our triangle wave LFO is slowly pushing back and forth between a square wave and the output of our VC mix. As you can see, incorporating the patch panel is a nice way to expand the functionality of the Mother32.